Hey kids, it's time for the Brent and Whoopi Radio Show. Radio for kids and family. So gather up the family, crank up the volume, get ready to have some fun, to laugh along, to sing along, and to use your imagination along with Brent and Whoopi. Let's see what we discover today on the Brent and Whoopi Radio Show. Now, here's your hosts, Brent and Whoopi. We've got company coming. <laughs> Hi, friends. This is Brent, and that was Woofy the dog singing We've Got Company Coming, his absolute favorite Fred Penner song. Isn't that right, Woofy? <laughs> That's right. This is the Brent and Woofy radio show. It's radio for kids and families. <laughs> so, Woofy, why were you singing your absolute favorite Fred Penner song? Because Fred's going to be on the show today. (laughs) That's right, Woofy. On today's Brent and Woofy radio show, we have an interview with Mr. Fred Penner. Him and I sat down over the telephone and had a nice long chat about what he's been up to and what's going on in his life. We hope you enjoy the interview on the Brent and Woofy radio show. (laughs) It's radio for kids and families. <laughs> so let's get this Brent and Woofy radio show going with a song from Fred Penner called Heartbeat off his new album, Where in the World. Take it away, Mr. Fred Penner on the Brent and Woofy radio show. <laughs> Listen to the sound going round and round. Listen to your heartbeat. Tick a tick a talk all around the block. Listen to your heartbeat. Tapping out a tune with a rhythm and rhyme makes you want to sing all of the time. Tick a tick a talk all around the block. Listen to your heartbeat. When you go to bed and you're tucked in tight Let the love dub lullaby rock you all night Listen to the sound going round and round Listen to your heartbeat Listen to the sound going round and round Listen to your heartbeat That's the sound of a real heart Sing it for me Listen to the sound Tapping out a tune with a rhythm and rhyme Makes you want to sing all of the time Tick a tick a tock all around the block Listen to your heartbeat Listen to the sound going round and round Listen to your heartbeat You're listening to the Brent and Woofy Radio Show, and on the phone all the way from Winnipeg, I have Mr. Fred Penner. Good morning, Fred. This technology is amazing, isn't it, Brent? Woofy? You, yes, it is. You betcha. You, how are you, Fred? I'm doing great. As uh, I was saying, it's, uh, it's almost... <laughs> and I'm sure your listeners will, will, will get some kind of a gloat out of this, but it's, uh, it's almost spring here in Winnipeg. We, we have some flooding conditions on the outskirts, the, uh, the Red River, which is... And it runs north south coming uh, coming from the south is often a problem in the spring and it's uh, it's wreaking a little havoc as it were and uh so some people are, are having to put up a lot of sandbags and try to stop this water from getting to their homes but uh but i'm well and uh the family's well and life is good yeah and summer is just around the corner exactly yeah so what have you been up to what have you been doing lately you're busy well, all the time up- yeah, I, I'm, uh, I continue to tour. I did a, a new album about a year ago called Where in the World. And, uh, and if your listeners are, are computer active, go to fredpenner.com and, uh, and, and check it out and see the new site. Uh, I just came, just came back from Toronto. I did a series of shows 
out there and just priming up for the children's festival circuit now. And in about a month, I'll be in Vancouver uh, and then in Penticton for the Okanagan Festival and then back to Winnipeg for the, uh, for the Winnipeg Festival. So it's going to, uh, this is sort of the calm before the storm here, or the activity. It's, it's sandbag time there in Winnipeg. Yes. <laughs> so if now, you... the, uh, lots of volunteers coming out. It's you know it's really when when a, when a disaster or a potential disaster comes uh, comes around or, or rears its ugly head, people just just get behind the support of, uh, of of other other communities. So they've had lots and lots of volunteers, people lining up to to help with uh, with the sandbagging and to do whatever they can to help their neighbor. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's good. It is. So, thinking back over all the years that you've been performing, um, how many air miles have you got under your belt now? <laughs> well, I keep using them up because because my uh, my extended family, my brothers in law, and their uh, and their partners don't live in Winnipeg, so uh, so we try and help out uh, at special events, uh, you know, weddings or, or or Christmas, and and we'll get them in into the city. So my so my points have been used up, but I'm sure I'm. And over the years, I've uh, I've gone through a couple of million points anyway. Oh, bad day, because you've been all over the globe, haven't you? Uh, I have. I've been in Australia, in the United Arab Emirates, uh, all over the U.S., in uh, in Europe, many times. So yeah, I've covered covered quite a quite a chunk of space here. Now, so I don't even know this myself, and I, I'm sure the listeners would love to know: Is it, were you born in Winnipeg? Born and raised. Yeah, my my grandparents came from Mennonite background in the uh, colonies in southern Russia in the 18, uh, late 1800s, and they settled in southern Manitoba, about an hour or so away from Winnipeg, and that's where my parents were both born, and, uh, and I was born in Winnipeg, because my, at that point my, my family had moved to the city and uh, following life there, so I was born and raised in, uh, in Winnipeg. Well, you must be familiar with a small town called Morris. Morris, indeed. They're having a little trouble right now with the flooding, but I've, I've, uh, I've been to Morris many times over the years. That's where my old dad is from, from Morris. Oh, are you kidding? No. No, he's, uh, he, he was born in Morris, and then he moved to Winnipeg, and ta-da, I was born in Winnipeg, too. Hey, I knew that's why I like you. Ah, here you go. We yeah, do have something. In, we have one, another thing in common there, that's for sure. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, but Woofie was born in, in Nanaimo, and that's where we're coming from. Beautiful downtown Nanaimo here on the Brent and Woofie Show. And today we're speaking with Fred Penner. And uh, Fred, I, I, was, I was going to ask you about uh, touring again, like, uh, about your air miles. Uh, and just wondering, like, because, you know, I've, I've visited your website, and, uh, you know, you, you keep track of the things that go on when you're out touring and playing for the kids. And I was just wondering, what was your favorite part of touring? Is it the actual performance or sitting around after talking to the kids? You know, there's, there's so, many, so many beautiful parts of of the performance, I, I love being on stage, and I and I love interacting with the audience and being spontaneous and, and responding. And uh, that's I mean that's what I've been doing for for much of my adult life. But the the, the most personal moments when I'm when I'm signing autographs, uh, when when the when a child comes up to me or or a parent, often it's the parent who sort of initiate the connection, where they come up and, and tell me a story about. How uh, how my music perhaps has affected their their lives, or something that that I've done some some communication that has made a difference in their in their world, and that's that's something you can never never sort of plan for, and, and certainly that's not why I ever got into into the industry. I did it because it felt like the right thing to do. But when you receive comments like that from people, it just gives you a real sense that that this is uh, that this is important work. And, and it ultimately is making a difference in the lives of, uh, of others. So, uh, so that's, that's the point that I really love, is, is connecting with the, uh, with the children and the parents after the shows. Yeah, well, here's a, a story from a parent about your shows and you, and it coming, it's coming from me, Brent. Okay. Because, uh, you know, uh, when your TV show was on, my kids were of age. Uh, they were uh, six or four. Three, I don't remember, but they were young enough that uh, we watched the show every day and came to all your concerts. And the the my my story is remembering after the shows that we would sit and uh, watch you. I would I, because you know you are 
one of my inspirations, right? And I would sit and watch as you signed the autographs, and I'm always so impressed that you would give your time. You would sit there till every little guy or every little girl got an autograph or a hug, and it was so impressive to me, and I, I, I want to thank you for doing that because I think that's so important to, to, to be um, so that the public uh, can access you. Yeah. And I think that that is, is a wonderful thing that you do. And so if me, Brent... All the kids, all the mums, grad, grandpas, grandpas, we thank you, Mr. Fred Penner, for doing that. Brent, that's, a, uh, that's a, a, a very high compliment. I appreciate that very much. Thank you. Yes, because, you know, because we're, we're both doing um, the same business that, that the folks don't understand what goes on behind the scenes, I found. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that you um, uh, know the same thing, that, that the people just see you on the stage and, and kind of figure, well, that's all he does is just up there, but it, they don't understand how much time goes into it. So for you to actually give even more of your time, I think that that's a wonderful thing. And here's a big pat on the back from Nanaimo to Fred Penner. Fantastic. I, I, love, Nan I love Nanaimo. I was there this past, uh, past December doing the series of shows, and it was uh, it's it's just a beautiful community. It's, uh, it's certainly growing bigger all the time, and uh, oh yes, uh, you know, trying to trying to trying to keep uh, keep a good hold on it. Um, it's something. But my my friend Rick Scott and his wife Valley live across on Protection Island, and uh, and so I visited them on occasion. I hope to see them again this summer. So maybe I'll be uh, be able to get a visit into the rest of the folks in Nanaimo. That would be, that would be great because that's when I met up with you last. Is when you were on Protection Island uh, a couple years ago, I imagine. And playing on the porch when it rained. You remember that? It rained so hard that you had all the kids up in the porch. All the kids were, were like just a couple feet away from Fred singing his songs. Yeah, it was and it, pretty neat. Yeah, it, it was, I thought that the rain actually added to that concert. Well, you know, when, when something spontaneous like that happens, I mean, you, you can't control that. And, uh, and what's, the, what's the alternative? You know, then all of a sudden you, you, everybody realizes that it's, you have to scramble. There, there is a, a reconfiguration that's going to happen, and it sort of heightens your awareness of the uh, of the moment. So, it, uh, absolutely, the, the rain had a had a positive effect on the afternoon for sure. Well, I think so because it kind of turned it into a kitchen concert yeah. party type yeah, thing. Absolutely. It was so personal. We were just sitting there. You are listening to the Brent and Woofy show, and we are talking to Fred Penner from Winnipeg, Manitoba, where is still snow in there? Is it, Fred? No, snow's uh, snow is still hanging on the ground. Uh, still a fair amount of ice, but uh, but it's going up to 10 degrees this weekend, and uh, there's a little bit of rain coming in, so that's going to get rid of most of the snow. I expect by by mid next week we'll be pretty pretty clear. And then watching uh, watching for any spillage in the basement, if any, yeah, is seeping through here. That's mm -hmm. the next step. It's if it's not one thing, it's another. Yeah. So when you're not touring, do you usually spend most of your time at home in Winnipeg? Uh, most of the time, yeah. Once in a while, I'll. I'll my daughter in Toronto, um, or I, I mean, my wife is working full time, and uh, and our youngest daughter is still at home, and there's things to take care of here. So I, I become uh, the, the domestic uh, father and husband when I'm not on tour. Right. And I do uh, I do a lot of the cooking during the week, and uh, and, and and the cleaning up. Good. Yeah. Uh, you know the, the vacuuming and the dusting, and uh, you know I I become that that part of my life. I become that dad. Is there any uh, grandchildren yet? No, we don't have any grandchildren yet. Our our, uh, our son was married a little over a year ago, and um, so that's somewhere in the future. But but he and his wife are still trying to put their lives together and figure out exactly what they're going to be doing. They haven't quite quite settled in occupation world yet, but uh, that's only a matter of time. And we have uh, a very good friend of our family who had a baby. Uh, about a year and a half ago, so she's sort of our, our surrogate granddaughter. Oh, that's point. great. That's and great. She's coming over tonight. Her name is Madeline, and she's just a just a spark. So we're we're, we're getting our our grand our grandparent hit. Ah, yes, yes. And speaking of uh, kids and that, a few years ago, I saw you on television performing with one of your daughters. Are you doing any of that anymore? Uh, once in a while, yeah. All of the kids have been on stage with me at different different times of life. Uh, my eldest daughter, Haley, who's living in Toronto now, she and I were uh, at a place in Toronto called Hughes Room with Ken Whiteley, who's a, a wonderful folk performer, gospel singer, and, and he had this event at this uh, theater or this, this, this venue in Toronto. 
and uh, we were invited to be part of that. So Haley sang with me just uh, a little over a week ago, so that was that was a nice memory. Oh, that must be nice, yes. Now, what's the best? You know, having your children on stage with you really is such a wonderful support. It's really part of, you know, an important part of my life. I, I look forward to those moments. That's right. Um, did you um, start your children's performance uh, career when your kids were little or, or before that? Uh, almost at the same time. I started the, the first recording, The Cat Came Back, was done in 1979. And we didn't have our first child until 1981. So it was, uh, it was very close. Uh, and then our second child in 85. So it, it sort of it pretty much coincided, I guess. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, and how are the kids like growing up with a famous dad? Well, they they had their their challenges along the way. I had <laughs> one of our one of the girls. I'm not sure which one came came home from school. She was in grade two, maybe grade three, and uh, and and announced to me that she needed 27 autographs for her class. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I said, well, I, I I'll come and visit at some point, but. But but you can tell them that uh, that I'm just your dad, right? Yeah, I'm your your father, and I, and I really didn't want to sort of cross over that that line for her, you know, in school. She she needed to develop her own identity, exactly. And, uh, and that's that's always been a challenge is is to make sure that the kids know who they are and and they're not just uh, on on this planet as as one of my offspring. Yeah, exactly. Yes, it's Fred Penner here on the Brent and Woofy Radio Show. And um, so you mentioned uh, your latest album, Where in the World. Yep. And uh, so how many albums do you have under your belt now? It's got to be about 12, isn't it? Uh, yeah, exactly. About a dozen. There's a couple that are sort of compilations. The, uh, the, the live album called Collections that we did many years ago. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah, it's just a, a, a good combination of tunes in the... You know, in a live setting, and you get just a wonderful feeling of what the audience is going through at that at that point. Um, but yeah, you, you're you know we've we've done I guess about nine studio albums over the time, and the, and then three that have you know a variety of things to them. Okay, I'm going to put you on the spot here and ask Mr. Fred Penner to guess which one of his songs out of those many many recordings he has is Brent's favorite song. Have it, just take a stab at it, Fred. I'll give you a hint. It, it's got a groove, and it cooks along, and it's about having people coming over and visit. It's got a groove, and, yeah. and having people come over. Okay, I, now I was going to go to Poco, being being the dog world, but uh, but that's not it. Well, that's we've got good. company coming. There's so much to do. Let's work together for this hullabaloo. Time to clean up and wash up. Get the towel and shampoo. We've got company coming. We've got company coming, there's so much to do. Let's work together for this hollow balloon. Time to clean up and wash up, get the towel and shampoo. We've got company coming, yahoo! We've got company coming, what a day this will be. We'll all be buzzing around like bumblebees. And everyone will bring their favorite recipes. We've got company coming. We'll find some time to sit and talk Share a feeling or go for a walk Let each other know we're glad we came And every time we do this it will be the same Cause we've got company coming home night and day Some live nearby and others far away This is a happy time, would you like to stay? We've got company coming, hooray! We'll find some time to sit and talk. Right on, that's my favorite... Uh... Uh, Fred Penner song, and it's the one that gets most airplay on the Brent and Woofy radio oh, show. Oh, great. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah, I, 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 uh, you know, I, I never know where these songs necessarily come from. You know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get an inspiration and, and I'll write, I'll write a piece, and then it, and then it starts to 
develop a life of its own in a way, and, and then people relate to it as you are oh, yeah. now. And it, it's uh, it's wonderful. It's one of one of those songs that I really enjoy playing always, and it, uh, it 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 certainly connects with the audience. Well, it certainly is my favorite song. I'm sure Woofies would be about the Poco dog. You know, because he likes songs about dogs. I'm sure. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, for sure. So, what do you got coming up in the future? Just more, more recording, more playing, more. Yeah, well, it's you know, at this point, the it's the foundation of you know of my life of my career is is established. Yes. And uh, and it's just a matter of, of maintaining my health and uh, and and focus. I'm going to uh, the other side of the country to St. John St. John's, Newfoundland, in uh, in June for a called the COCA, C-O-C-A conference, which is uh, the a conference for universities. And um, and it's an opportunity for me to, to sing to the students who grew up with me. Oh, nice. We're now going to university and trying to set up a tour to uh, to the colleges across, uh, across Canada. Oh, that's excellent, because that'll bring back a, a ton of memories for those kids. Yeah, I've done that a few times. Uh, and, it, and it really is quite wonderful. I played in McGill uh, about a year ago, and the uh, and the students were were just overwhelmed. There were there were tears. There was joy. It was uh, it was a very very you know an inspiring day. Do you finish those concerts with question and answer periods? The, with those, the, the question and answer period is is ongoing. Right. You know, we I, I start. I know I I I connect with them off the top. Just a little introduction and background, and and then it's and then it's just wide open. We just we just play. So oh, that must be talk and sing and and uh, and I share some of my life philosophies and perspectives. And that must be so much fun for you. Oh, it's to, it's a real delight to see all these kids that that were your fans in the in the early days grow up and have kids of their own now. Mm -hmm. Wow, that must be incredible. The first time that happened uh, was a. Uh, Boy, I guess that was about ten years ago now. So I must have been a very early, early fan. And I was up in Yellowknife at a, a folk festival, and a uh, a couple uh, approached me, and they they were you know, you know probably their late late teens, early early twenties at, uh, at 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 best. And they uh, and they had a baby, and they they walked up to me, and their their faces were just beaming. They were so excited mm. about meeting me, but about having their child meet me and uh so they walked up and and basically just handed their baby to me you know and, and they, they wanted me to just to interact with that child for a moment and it was uh you know because it was part of what they had and they just wanted to pass it on to the next generation and it was uh it was very very touching it was quite a quite a wonderful moment and i, yeah. I felt very honored to be put in that position one of the moments that I remember from one of your concerts is you were singing that song in the Nanaimo about the baby, and one woman handed you a baby, and you were standing on the stage singing that song, holding the baby, and you melted every heart in oh, the room. Oh, I, 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 I'm with you all the way. Those those moments, you, you never know if that's going to happen. You yes. know, those are very spontaneous, and uh, and when they do happen, it's. I mean, it, for me as a dad, and, and our baby is 18, I, uh, I miss, maybe that's, you know, as you were saying, the, the grandparenting situation is part of, part of that for me. I, I love connecting with, uh, with little ones and, and, and remembering what it was like to hold my own children in yes. my arms. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so I, I'm getting a, a vicarious uh, memory and pleasure out of doing that. Yes. Well, it was a magical moment, and it's something that I'll never forget, that's for sure. Cool. That's for sure. Well, Mr. Fred Penner, this has been a fantastic interview with you today, and I, I want to thank you so much for coming on the Brent and Woofy Radio Show. Do you have a, a song you'd like to do for us as we wrap up? Something what off your song new? That, that, uh, that I want to do here, yeah, or, something or, off or your, that you're going to play? Something off your new album. Yeah, play something live right now, maybe. Oh, do something. Okay, uh... Uh, this is this is a, a chorus from the title track of the new album, and it is downloadable uh, from the website. I think it's for only about ten bucks. So if, uh, if people want to do that, that would be great. Or you can uh, just drop me an email at, uh, at fredpenner.com. Where in the world are you going? Where in the world have you been? May all your hopes and dreams come true. Where in the world are you? Where in the world are you? Where in the world are you? 
Thank you so much, Fred Penner, for being on the Brent and Wiffy Radio Show. We appreciate your time. Thanks, Brent. It was a pleasure talking to you again. All right. Thank you, sir. See you soon. You betcha. Bye. May all your hopes and dreams come true Where in the world are you? You've learned about life all around you People and places you've seen And step by step you make your way We'll get to know you better each day By the feelings you have, the words that you say Whoa, where in the world are you going? Where in the world have you been? May all your hopes and dreams come true Maybe you live on an island Or the prairie is where you call home Where the wind may carry your dragon kite Forever and ever till it's out of sight Where the moon and the stars sparkle all night Whoa, where in the world are you going? Where in the world have you been? May all your hopes and dreams come true Are there mountains outside your window? Can you hear the ocean's call? What are the sounds when you go to bed? Waves of music in your head The loving words somebody said Oh, where in the world are you going? Where in the world have you been? May all your hopes and dreams come true Listening to the Brenton Woofy Radio Show. Where in the world are you? You are listening to the Brenton Woofy Radio Show. That's right, you are listening to the Brenton Woofy Radio Show. And we want to say thank you very much to Fred Penny for coming on our radio show. Can you say thank you, Fred Penner Woofy? Oh, thank you, Fred Penner Woofy. <laughs> Well, it's time to wrap up the Brent and Woofy Show. We sure want to thank you for coming along with us today. But we have to say bye for now. Say goodbye, Woofy. Goodbye, Woofy. <laughs> See you next time. That's the end of the show, but now we've got to go. Say bye, bye, bye. We sure had some fun, but now we've got to run. Say bye, bye, bye. We're Brent and Woofy of the radio show. We sure had fun, but we've got to go say bye, 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 bye. The Brent and Whoopi Radio Show was written, directed, produced, and recorded by Brent Lindsay Beeler. Brent and Whoopi performed by Brent Lindsay Beeler. The Brent and Woofy Radio Show theme song provided by Brent and Woofy from the CD Under a Star, entitled It Is What It Is. For more information, visit www.bbshows.ca or Google Brent and Woofy. This is Scott McLeod, and this has been a production of Brent Beeler Shows, copyright 2009.